So when we went New Year's Eve now, it was amazing, you know, we tapped out 6,000 people and it was like huge, like wow, this is, there'd never been this party that size ever before. We had Mini Vanelli had come down, they were like the biggest, globally the biggest group, you know, in the world. You know, you had lots of celebrities, Boy George was there, everyone just came down and mixed. It was a mix of everybody, rich, poor. This place was only can be described as a modern day Studio 54. Because people have always said to me, what was Genesis, what was so special about it? And I think it was a Studio 54 at this time. And it really, really any venue, whatever venue we went to, we put our brand on it, you know? And uh, yeah, we, we've done that. That was a great event the ESC, we put it kind of bigger. And of course, it was the first week of January. Who goes out first week of January? It's the dead time everyone knows this. And um, we held the event now, and we tapped out 8,000 people. You know, and the warehouse was huge, the party was getting out of control, indeed. and it was just going on and on and on, you know, as we see it unstoppable. And that was us, you know, we had a license to print money at that point, you know, and people were getting to know about us as well because I'm all close to that at West End. And uh, done a huge party, um, as I said, the, the, the week after uh, New Year's Eve. And then, sadly, <laughs> It turned out the warehouse that we thought was legit and it wasn't a uh, gypsy of to, 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 to you know, give the keys to keep driving for a good week. He was twin tires in there for the only thing about. So we were out on our ear, but effectively, um, because we've grown such a big organisation so quickly, police were terrified that you know you'd have ten thousand people in that turn up at least I drove, middle of the pack thing, the middle of the night on a Saturday night. Where are you gonna go? You know, it's a, it's a nightmare logistically. So we had two police cars, one at each end of the road, giving out our flyers for the new location of the warehouse. You know, you couldn't invent it, a warehouse you just broke it into, you wouldn't even mad. And uh, around about that time, as I said, uh, then you could see criminal eyes were on us. So it was a really good idea to, you know, move forward with it, uh, beef up the security, you know? So uh, we beefed up the security. Um, it was actually Wayne's stepdad who worked at a club and he knew some doorman. Uh, a lot of those guys were connected to the football firm ICF and uh, they'd done door work though, they were pretty good what they'd done, others were on, others, others you know, there were known places in the area that had done door work and they seemed suitable to be our door. And uh, they became the Genesis crew, late known as G-Force and um, they moved with us effectively and we started to go from event to event to event until we were actually, you know, every Saturday night with Genesis night. And you know, we did we literally did tip out of West End people working on them going to some of those clubs. So they would go to the Saturday traditionally they were coming straight to us. Added to that we had a, a guy who'd done mobile cab firm outside the way and he would um, give out our flyers, he'd exchange basically to all the punters, leave the clubs, be in exchange for you know being able to set up, you know, his mobile cab facility outside the parties wherever we were so he had a gold mine going on and we had a great thing because we didn't have to even we did fly still ourselves but we knew virtually every single punter going into the west end every club in the west end on a saturday night but leading up to that saturday night they were getting genesis flyers so our flyer distribution went from like sort of ordered 500 flyers to getting like 10 20 30 000 flyers do you know what i mean because we knew they were getting distributed, do you know what I mean? So you knew we were going to get our parties filled, everyone knew about them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it grew, it grew, it grew. We literally went from one warehouse to the other.